Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. Now I'm here to disprove a myth really quick. People say that sand offense is dead. The fact that Titar can no longer create infinite and upon infinite sand dunes with his uh, sand stream, sand is no longer a viable option offensively. I'm here to disprove that. This is a really, really old gimmicky Uber sand team that I just pulled from one of my uh, text documents. It involves a standard lead Tyranitar with a sand rock, or a smooth rock as some prefer to call it, which extends the sand to eight turns, which is really all you need. You have your standard life orb, modest, rock polish landorus. You have choice banded adamant, or actually lonely in fact, Tracheon. He doesn't get much action, he's a very lonely fellow. With the Smackdown, Stone Edge, Hidden Power, Ice, and Close Combat, Okoing Landorus T, what you know about it? The standard Choice Band Scizor, with enough speed to outspeed Heatran in case the need be. You have Adamant, Swords Dance, Sand Rush Excadrill, with Iron Head, just to hit all those things that the two moves of Edgequake do not hit. And of course, you have the star of the show, the Sand Veil Garchomp. Ladies and gentlemen, Sand Veil could or could not potentially be active in this battle. We are going to have to see. As you can see on my end, it is basically what I like to call it, and uh, what the team is saved as, the Sand Team from Hell. It is absolutely the most standard and offensively based Sand Team you will ever see. It is incredible. My opponent has a very standard X and Y stall team with the Landorus T, the Heatran, and the Mega Venusaur stall core, uh, combined with a Scarf Keldeo as his Scarfer, a Scarf Jirachi, and most likely a Specs Latios, although uh, I can't confirm that based off damage outputs, most likely he is not running three Scarfers on the same team. I lead Titar to get the sand rolling, you know, get those dunes coming in. As he leads off with Rachi, he goes for U-turn first turn as I switch out into Scizor. I click the U-turn, but unfortunately his Venusaur is able to get the jump on me and land the Powder of Sleep upon my Scizor. I am forced to switch out as uh, I do not obviously want to give him turns to set up. As I go to Garchomp, I have a berry, in fact, that allows me to eat even the iciest of punches right to my face as Garchomp's able to retaliate with an Earthquake, and Excadrill able to blitz through the sand dunes that is rushing by his face, able to iron head the Jirachi to oblivion, just in case a potential switch were to happen. Landorus comes in against the Landorus, because I don't want to take an Earthquake. In fact, a knockoff comes my way. Earth power to the Latios was obvious, but not as obvious as a Latios getting pursuit trapped by Titar. If there's anything in Pokemon that you can depend on, it is T-Tar to absolutely make Latios worthless. Now let's see Keldeo miss a Hydro Pump as I set up a worthless Stealth Rock that doesn't even come into play as he hits the second Hydro Pump. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, in this very short game, was a moment I had to make a decision. Two turns of sand damage makes this about a 50-50 shot whether or not Excadrill can come in and kill it. It is adamant. It is Life Orb. It cannot kill. Unfortunately, I don't want to take the risk. You know what risk I am willing to take, though? There's a saying back in the old days when people used to use Sandvale. It is, is Sandvale active? Well, we're going to see first Hydro Pump does blitz right by the Garchomp. As you can see, as I'm able to safely set up a substitute, a doll that sits in front of my Garchomp, protecting me from Landorus's intimidating glares and potential sleep powders from the Venusaur. Does the second one going to hit? No! In fact, Keldeo cannot aim because Garchomp is hidden beneath the waves of sand that roll over the battlefield. The Hydro Pump blitzes past it right into your living room. Right into your living room. He's able to outrage the Keldeo for just enough damage where sand knocks it out. The Landorus comes in hoping the Intimidate would go through the doll, but Garchomp is not phased, going for the Outrage, doing massive damage to the Landorus. Not wanting to risk a potential confusion hit, it is immediately going to switch places with its teammate, the Landorus Incarnate Form, as Landorus can come out, easily take out the Heatran with an Earth Power, the power of the very Earth beneath your feet. And knowing that the Landorus outspeeds and KOs everything remaining on the opponent's team.
My opponent is going to forfeit the match, knowing that Sand is in fact too powerful for X and Y stall. X and Y. Sand offense is not dead. You just need the Pokemon to abuse it. Garchomp is the Pokemon to abuse it. Abuse the Sand Veil. Abuse the fucking Sand Veil hacks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something here today.